What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix FPS drops and increase your overall performance when playing GTA 5 on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, send you a comment and let me know. First, open up the game and navigate to your graphics settings. Here, set the DirectX version to the highest available to you. Below, set the screen type to full screen. I am using windowed, as it's easier to record. Make sure to use your native monitor resolution, which should for the most of you be 1920 by 1080. In case you're using an abnormal screen resolution, then I suggest to use a normal 16 by 9 resolution. This can, in a lot of cases, fix performance drops. Set the aspect ratio to automatic and the refresh rate of your monitor's highest setting. In my case, that would be 144 Hz. Disable the four settings below, as these should in turn reduce your performance when enabled. For the best performance, you should also lower the population density, variety and distance scaling options, as these will heavily depend on your CPU's capabilities. In case you're using a decent CPU and your GPU is a bottleneck to your performance, then feel free to increase these settings a bit. Set the texture quality to normal as well as the shadow, reflection, water, particles and grass quality options. Turn reflections, MSAA off and soft shadows to sharp. Anisotropic filtering, ambient occlusion and tessellation should in turn also be turned off. After applying your changes, you might have to restart the game. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the Processes tab, right-click GTA 5 and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the GTA 5.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click it and set the priority to High. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only end the programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. You can now close the game and exit out of your Task Manager. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. Next, right-click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. You can do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add GTA 5 from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Don't forget to apply your changes. When this is done, search for graphic settings and open up your graphic system settings. On this window, select browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, Navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. 
This will also depend if you're using the Steam or Epic Games version. For the Epic Games version, navigate to Program Files, GTA 5, and here make sure to select the GTA 5.exe application, and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, make sure to change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Next, I suggest deleting your temporary files, as these can induce lag if your hard drive is cluttered. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. We can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.